I am very thrilled to announce the launch of Cow GPT. It is the first Gen AI product in the world, which is purpose built for the dairy and veterinary space. So as of now, we have uh, used one of the uh, existing foundation models, and we have heavily customized it with domain data uh, from this sector. We are also working on having our own foundation model uh, built and trained uh, in collaboration with a couple of uh, universities in the US and uh, a government agency in India. So let me show you how our app uh, or a product looks like today. Right. So basically, you can access the product in uh, three uh, ways. The first one uh, to consume uh, the product is through our Connected Cow web platform. Second is through our uh, Connected Cow uh, iOS and uh, Android mobile app. So let me show you how it works, how it looks on the iOS uh, mobile app. So basically, uh, you open the Connected Cow app and then on the right side on the top, you see Cow GPT. You just click on the tile and it opens up a screen for you and you can start typing in your questions here. If you want to change the language, you just select whatever language you want and either you can type the question in that language or you can even send your uh, questions or prompts in a voice format by clicking on the microphone icon. What I want to demo today in detail is the third uh, and the easiest way to use our application. And that is a WhatsApp uh, uh, chat, right? So to do that, I open my WhatsApp application here. I uh, you simply add the number which I'm going to tell you right now. And the number is plus nine one nine zero two two three one four four five nine. You add this number in your contacts. You start communicating with this number uh, through your WhatsApp message. So there are multiple ways I can uh, communicate uh, with this uh, on WhatsApp. I start by typing L. L is for changing the language. So let me choose, uh, say, English to start with. I choose English. I type in whatever question I want. For example, in this case, I will say, please uh, provide me a nutrition plan for year old. So I'm kind of uh, typed in a little bit of a uh, generic question and I'm going to get a response uh, which is basically meant for all four-year-old Jersey cows. Uh, all right. Uh, now let me, let me uh, ch change the language to Hindi. So definitely I cannot type in Hindi. So I will ask my question uh, in voice format. Mere paas char saal ki gir gai hai, jiska wajan 520 kilogram hai. Wo din mein 12 liter dud deti hai. Gai ko swast rakhne ke liye aur uh, uska kharcha uh, kam karne ke liye mujhe uh, detail mein uh, uske portion ke baare mein bataiye. So my question was a little bit uh, more specific. Uh, uh, I'm going to get a slightly better response uh, with the kind of prompt I have asked. So it will it will it's going to give me a response both in Hindi uh, text and then also convert that into the voice format. So let's wait for that. So basically, I got the response a uh, little bit more specific uh, based on the milk yield and other parameters in text in Hindi. And now I'm also going to get the response in the voice format, which I will going to uh, listen to. Gir gai ko swasth rakhne ke liye aur uska kharcha kam karne ke liye aapko uske portion ka vishesh dhyan dena hoga. Yaha kuch mahatvapoorn tato hai jinne aapko dhyan mein rakhna chahiye. So now both the questions we asked were kind of generic questions. Uh, imagine a situation where I am a dairy farmer. I have a cow which is registered on connected cow uh, platform. I can ask very specific questions uh, about my own cow. I don't have to get a generic responses which are meant for every single, every other cow in the world from that breed or from that age group right so to do that i simply type in uh, my uh, the 12 digit ear tag number of my cow 
uh, which I use to register on connected cow platform. Or if I don't have the number handy, I simply take a picture of the muzzle of the cow and upload that. So in this case, I've already taken a picture. So I'm going to upload that onto the platform right now. So we have an algorithm or an application which uniquely identifies cows or buffalo based on the muzzle picture. So it's going to use that logic to uh, uniquely uh, identify the cow number. It's going to give me all the information about the breed, the date of birth, the entire medical history of the cow, uh, how many vaccinations uh, have been given to the cow, how many vaccinations are due. Uh, and if it also detects a, a disease or some kind of symptoms in the cow, it's also going to suggest me to take the cow to the veterinary doctors in my area. And I'm also going to get a list of veterinary doctors in my area for that, right? So in this case, I got uh, this whole response, uh, right, which is very, very specific to my cow. It also gives me entire history of the cow and stuff like that. So by any chance, if, we, if I don't even, I'm not in a position to take the muzzle picture of the cow, I simply uh, upload uh, the 12 digit ear tag number. Uh, so in, in this case, if I, I already have the ear tag number, I, I, I simply upload that. And I'm going to it's it's the, going to use the same logic of OCR and it's going to kind of uniquely identify the cow, and it's going to give me a similar kind of accurate and very specific responses to my cow. So so very excited about this launch. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have used multiple technologies under the hood. Uh, the whole product is built uh, on Gen AI, but along with that, we have used uh, other uh, solutions like the biometric identification and stuff like that. So we're really happy to launch it and we want everyone to use it and give, uh, give us the feedback so that we can keep improving it in future releases. Thank you.